Welcome to the Raw Food Health Empowerment Show. Thank you for being with me today. So if you read the description that goes with this video, it should be right under the video or above, depending on where you're watching me live. If you're watching me on the blog or on Facebook, um, I made the kale salad. Okay, so I'm getting too excited right now. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Samantha Salmon. I'm a certified holistic health coach, and um, I'm the author of You Can Afford to Be Healthy. And the book for the link for that book is in the description below. And um, today, what are we talking about? We're talking about easy lunch ideas. So, in the description for this video, I have um, some links of some great recipes for quick, easy, healthy, delicious lunch ideas. And um, so you can click on those to try those out. I picked my favorite, something that had ingredients that I knew I loved already. I love kale, I haven't had it in a while because I was so in love with kale and then I started having a love affair with collard greens and I haven't really been touching kale for a while. So um, it's now back in my life and I'm so excited. I haven't tried this yet. So this, this recipe is inspired by uh, She Likes Food. And guess what? We have that in, in common because I love food. So I'm not um, a food photographer, okay? I just like to eat and I like to eat healthy and I help other people eat healthy. So this is my version of that. Let's give you an up close and personal view. Um, I did take a picture and put it on Instagram for what it looks like overhead. I haven't put the dressing on yet. Um, it's still a little thick. What I did differently compared to the recipe is I left out the stuff I didn't like. So that includes raw onions because that gives me heartburn and cranberries. I am not a fan of um, dried cranberries. So I left those out, I just added what I like, and this is the tahini dressing, which I know I'm going to love because I've had this kind of dressing before, where it's pretty common that uh, to mix tahini with lemon juice, and I use lime and lemon interchangeably. <laughs> I use lime and lemon interchangeably, so uh, today I use limes. I tend to have that more on hand more often than not. So you see my dressing is really thick. I can actually use a little bit more warm water to loosen it up. Which, let me get that right now. And then we want to try this just a little bit. just to loosen it up. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. I'm so excited to, to try this. And I wanted to also mention that how, like I started preparing this um, an hour ago and um, it took me less than an hour. So that's the quick part of the easy, quick, easy lunch ideas. This is the quick part of it. Uh, you don't have to make food too laborious because I know, you know, some of you are probably, you know, going to work, going to school, you know, taking care of a family. You're really busy. Life is hectic. What you can do is, you know, use your money to save time. You either have money or you have time. If you have no money, then you have time. You have to prepare everything from scratch. Okay. That's the way you're going to save dollars. But if you have less time than you have money, use that money and um, make life easier for yourself. So you can get beans already made. I would recommend not getting it from the can. They have um, beans in a box. They have beans in these uh, plastic containers um, that's ready made. I mean, if you have to go with a can, then go with that, but don't make that your regular because you don't want to 
um, deal with aluminum being leached into the food because that can cause neurological issues later on down the line. Um, and you can get your sweet potatoes cut up and cubed already. I actually save time by uh, boiling it instead of baking it. Baking is really good too. That only takes 30 to 40 minutes and that will taste really nice. Um, but the boiling takes less time um, and you're using less oil. But this, this dish already has uh, healthy fats in there. So I wasn't really trying to eliminate any kind of fat and this is already in there. All right, so yeah, my, my dressing is um, pretty thick in here. And this is where having maybe an immersion blender would work out really nice, but I don't have one, but that's okay. I'm going to just put the dressing on and maybe I should show you guys what I'm doing. That would, that would be good, right? Oh, also, as we're talking about ingredients, uh, what else did I do to make life easy? Of course, sliced almonds. I don't know how you, okay, you can see that. Um, so you don't have to, of course, slice them yourself. Um, let's see, can you see that? Maybe if I put it down a little more. Erase, erase. So I'm just putting on some of the dressing. I don't want it on. I have guacamole on here. I did that different. I think she has cubed um, avocado in hers. I decided to go with guac, make it a little bit more interesting, spicier. Plus, that's another way. It's like I could buy avocados, wait for them to ripe, <laughs> but I don't have any, and I didn't want to spend that time, obviously, because I want it for lunch and uh, for dinner today. So lunch for tomorrow, dinner for today. Um, and uh, so yeah, that saves some time there as well. I bought the guac already made at Whole Foods, so I didn't have to spend time making that. So I made uh, the sweet potato uh, from scratch. Of course, I boiled that and the kale that's underneath that. I put that's underneath this. I put a lot of food on top of it. So I put the, the dressing on there. You can see that. And uh, I'm going to eat this now. So healthy, nutritious, and the kale. I already did actually try the kale salad. I massaged it with, um, just like she said, but, but I used lemon juice. I used, I'm sorry, she recommended lemon juice. I used lime, fresh limes. Let's see how it tastes. I know it's gonna be delicious. Mmm. First of all, tahini is amazing. It tastes so good. And it's so good for you. Make sure to read the blog, read the description to this video, so you can learn about all the healthy phytonutrients and vitamins that's in this salad. This salad is hearty. It has healthy fats in there. Um, and how you would put this together for lunch is I would keep the sweet potato separate and the salad separate the tahini and guac separate. So the wet stuff separate and actually piece it together at work. Um, Cause you're probably gonna wanna warm up the sweet potato so it's warm. And this, this is really, oh, so good. Mm -mm. I'm like dying to eat now at this point because when you're making food, 
typically, by the time you're done, you're not that hungry. But as I'm making it, and I'm especially the dressing, I'm like, oh my god, this is so delicious. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. And I'm like, I can't wait to go live so I can eat this. <laughs> so I urge you guys to try it. Try out the other recipes below this video. Get in the kitchen. Get your hands in the kitchen. Get your hands dirty. Get connected to your food. Look at all this abundance. You know, I call this a grateful bowl. Because I am so, so grateful to have all of this goodness. And there's so much going on here. I mean, you have almonds, so you have the crunchy. You have the heartiness because there's lots of protein in here. Lots of healthy fats in here. Then you have the warmth from the sweet potato. And then you have kale salad already seasoned underneath. I had a whole bed of it and like it looked so full when I put it in but then when you start massaging it it gets smaller because you start to break the cellulose walls with your hands if you read my article about how we're not um, uh, herbivores right we don't have the enzymes to break through the cellulose wall however when we add lemon juice lime juice and we use our hands to massage it that's helping to break down um, the cellulose wall and the fibers a little bit so that it's more easy, easily digestible and so we can um, once it's easily digestible our body can assimilate it better so it can actually utilize the nutrients from the food to you know do all the different processes that it's doing on a regular basis so another cool recipe that's in here is uh, well, a series of recipes are paleo vegan dishes. I'm so into veganism. <laughs> That's what it's called, vegan, um, where it's basically you're eating whole foods, no grains, and um, I, no animal. So it's vegan, no animal product, but with a paleo influence. And um, I love that they. Paleo probably wouldn't do quinoa. I make the exception for that because I love quinoa. Um, but, you know, quinoa, like, this took very little time to make. I could add quinoa to it. It would just be another thing. So I actually save time by not <laughs> adding the quinoa. So, you know, you have lots of variety, lots of room to play. There's so many different recipes uh, for a healthy lifestyle. And then there's a raw vegan chicken nugget recipe um, that you can play around with and try so that was really interesting definitely piqued my interest because I remember having chicken nuggets as a child didn't know you could do it raw vegan apparently you can so um, check that out and um, yeah so sorry I'm like reading my notes here to make sure that I, I mention everything I want to say to you guys um, so read through the blog post Get familiar with why you should be eating high raw plant-based. All these foods are full of phytonutrients. They're going to help your body function better. If you're overweight, it's going to help you release the excess fats. It's going to help you think clearer because this is nutrients, right? A lot of people think that the obesity epidemic is coming from people eating too much and actually it's not it's about eating the wrong types of foods they're they're nutrient void fiber void meat dairy has absolutely no fiber so if you're not getting fiber you're not really feeling satiated yes you can get satiation from fats but you also want fiber because Fats have a negative effect on the body. Saturated fats have a negative effect on the body, while unsaturated fats have a positive effect on the body. So you're getting satiation, and you're getting nutrient value, and um, in this dish, the proteins are adding that as well, which is coming from the quinoa, the tahini, um, and the avocados. I had a huge debate. Oh, actually, it wasn't debate. It was just me trying to get through someone's head that everything we're eating actually has protein. But when I say this has protein, this has protein, that means it's the highest source, right? So legumes, um, avocado, they have uh, oils. They are 
um, have a, a higher fat content. It's unsaturated fat. It's a higher fat content. I mean, a higher uh, protein content is what I'm trying to say. Higher in protein, but kale has protein. Sweet potato has protein. Basically, everything we're eating has protein. You cannot go uh, ha or deal with a protein deficiency if you live in a developed country and you're not starving. And it takes about six months of not eating to really hit starvation. So you don't have to worry about a protein deficiency. It, you won't see it, okay? You won't see it in those situations. I mean, if you're going to a third world country where people are just not eating at all and they haven't been eating for a long time, yes, um, you may see it there. But if you're, if that's not you, and I'm assuming if you're watching me now, that's most likely not you because you wouldn't even have internet, most likely. Um, so don't worry about that. Uh, so it's October still, uh, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And it's also Vegetarian Month. Um, so I wanted to let you know that we have the Strengthen the Immune System 10-Day E-Course. It's a whole 10-day um, course free on what you can do, the power you have to actually make your body strong enough to ward off cancer, okay? it's Of course, it's not 100%. There's a lot of things at play, but I go into all of it. And you can be more aware of the choices that you're making and what's working towards cancer and what's working against cancer with your lifestyle choices. So definitely check that out. The link is in the description below. And um, if you found this video, this blog, uh, this conversation, this recipe, or any of the recipes that I recommended helpful at all, Feel free to share this video with your family and friends. Share the blog with your family and friends. Give me a like. Just let me know um, that you're feeling it. And if you're not feeling it, give me a comment below and let me know how I can help you eat more plant-based, eat more raw foods, what kind of assistance you need. I am here for you, okay? I'm here for you, all right? Um. Have a blessed, blessed Sunday. I'm going to dig into my hearty, rich, healthy kale salad. I want to give a shout out to She Likes Food. Girl, you really hit the jackpot with this. Thank you so much for that recipe. It has me thinking. And you can play around with this because I never follow recipes to the T. I always switch it up, you know. I eat what I like. And if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll try something different. Oh, like, oh. Maybe I might like cranberries, but I know I'm not going to like it, so I didn't even try. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, if you if you know, like, the majority of the stuff you are going to like, but then then try it. But don't, um, if you're on a tight food budget, don't waste your money by trying something that's, like, completely different than what you're used to and what you like. Um just to experiment because you may waste a lot of food. A lot of these recipes are for families, at least for two people or something like that, because I definitely have leftovers, but I'm using that for lunch. So you want to start with recipes that were the majority of the recipe or like crucial parts of the recipe um, are stuff that you like, okay? Or make revisions and make your own recipe. You know, with that as just an inspiration, that's fine as well, too. All right? Well, take care, you guys. I'm going to stop yapping, and I'm going to start eating. So take care. Have a good day.